CBS 4 Stephen Seeley is with us now. And Stephen, what does this mean for the thousands of DACA recipients in this country? Well, Dan, it means that they'll have to wait until next year to see a possible replacement. After the program was repealed in September, many DACA recipients were left wondering how they'll be legally protected. One Texas senator says while the bipartisan issue is important, there are other things that need to be done as well. According to Texas State Senator John Cornyn, the Senate will not be discussing a replacement for deferred action for childhood arrivals before the holidays. I think it's uh, probably uh, in January. Uh, I, think, I think we've run out of time this, uh, this December before Christmas. In September of this year, the Trump administration repealed DACA, which protected 800,000 undocumented immigrants who were brought to the United States as children and gave Congress until March of 2018 to resolve the immigration issue. Harlingen-based immigration attorney Jody Goodwin says her clients say they feel nothing is being done. She believes DACA recipients are being used to fuel political campaigns. Instead of being used in, in that fashion as, as a political statement, um, what really needs to happen is that our government needs to sit down and get to work to actually come up with a resolution for, for, those, for those kids. In early December, Senator Cornyn and other Republican senators introduced the Security Enforcement and Compassion United in Reform Efforts Act, or SECURE. It includes the language of the Bipartisan Bridge Act, which protects DACA recipients from deportation, and as Senator Cornyn says in a statement, quote, the SECURE Act gives us the chance to both help these young adults and win back public confidence by securing our borders and enforcing our immigration laws. Goodwin says that while it does seem like dreamers are taking a back seat in Congress, she urges the community to do its part by contacting their local congressman to influence public policy. Um, those kids deserve our support and they deserve whatever we can do to try to, to help them to, to um, normalize their life in, in, in any way we can. Now, Senator Cornyn says there is a bipartisan commitment to providing DACA recipients some relief, but he says the administration needs to follow through on its promise of border security and fixing the immigration system. In the studio with Complete Valley coverage, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 Valley, tonight.